just it's only uh it's always harder to make these videos when I'm personally involved in them. It's even harder when I have to talk about a story involving one of my best friends. And that's exactly what we have to do here today. Welcome back to Mogul Mail, everybody. Today we are talking about <laughs> Magnus Carlsen, a.k.a. number one best chess player of all time, a.k.a. my best friend, who's been in some drama recently in the chess Isn't world. Isn't everyone his drama. best friend? This is new and exciting. Isn't um, everyone his best friend? I think everyone's his best friend, honestly. Every, everyone's his best friend. Let me uh, just make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, I mean, everyone's his best friend. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What, what is it? Well, let's start with this clip right here. All right, this happened today. There we go. Before, because this is, his, this is his main move. This is the uh, second move Yay! of, a, of, a, of an, a match in a tournament between Magnus Carlsen and Hans Niemann. D4, knight, f6, c4. Yeah, definitely. No, no, I get the joke. I get the joke, you guys. If you haven't noticed, at the top right here, it says lost. And that's because Magnus Carlsen resigned from no. the game. What? And then immediately no. turned off his camera and left. He said no he and said left. no and leaves. Goodbye. But why? Why would the world's best player do that in a chess game where he probably has a great chance at winning? Well, for that, let's get some background on the two main players in this story, which is one, Magnus Carlsen. Again, best chess player in the world. Highest rating. Uh, he's the, like, 10-year running champion who has a bit of drama against Hans Niemann. Yeah. He's an American I love how he takes the FIDE uh, list, who had yeah. The greatest win of his career uh, just two weeks ago when he beat Thanks. Magnus Carlsen. That's right. Hans beat up, Magnus, which, you know, like if you don't know chess, it's like whatever. A guy loses, that happens. No. Magnus Carlsen had not lost a classical game of chess in 53 games, all right? And, and, and it's his first loss with White in over two years. Two years he hasn't lost, and then he loses to some kid. I mean, Hans is 19 <laughs> years old. And it's probably his, like, worst rated loss ever. All right? It, it, basically, it's like losing to the Browns in anything. Or, in, by that measure, any Ohio team. Uh, not that Hans isn't a great player. More so just how young he is and for the rating he was at. Uh, and it shot Hans to uh, over 2,700 rating and made him one of the best players in the world. Technically a super GM. Mm -hmm, level true. Of GM. Uh, but it was a bit weird. Because although he won... What Magnus did after is withdrew right. from the tournament and then tweeted out this video, popular media. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. <laughs> in big trouble. And Which led a lot of people to speculate that Magnus thought Hans was cheating. And the speculation went so far that, that other GMs like Hikaru were on stream talking about it, mm -hmm. insinuating that, that Hans... <laughs> was cheating because he's maybe even done it in the past. All right? There were running theories. This is real, by the way, that, that he was using anal beads that vibrate when he had the correct move. That's probably a good one. Right? An <laughs> anal bead probably would beat the thing. I, I'm serious. I, the engine, I... Which, crazy. This is real, by the way. There's an insider <laughs> article about it. Uh, there was even a campsite that offered him a million dollars to play chess naked to prove he didn't cheat, which is just a marketing plug. He's 19, kind of weird, <laughs> right, to that campsite. Uh, but 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 why all the accusations? Well, Hans will admit it here himself. I, I had one other one when I was 12. I have never, ever in my life cheated in an over-the-board game, in an online tournament. They were an unrated game. And I'm admitting this, and, and, I, and I'm saying mm -hmm. my truth because I do not want any misrepresentation. I am proud of myself that I learned from that mistake and now have given everything to chess. I have... So he admits that he cheated. He basically admits that he cheated. And any time that you say, I cheated, but not a great start to a sentence, that you have to qualify when you cheated. He says he's never cheated in over-the-board games, which is like where all the prestigious tournaments are held, and that he cheated a couple times online, specifically when he was 12 to boost his rating so he could play better people, and when he was 16 and streaming, because I think he had felt pressure to be better and make more money and make it a, a viable career. Which sounds like a long time ago, like, ah, I cheated when I was 16. He's 19. So it was like, it was three years ago. I, right. I knew him when he was 16. In fact, he spoke different. This is like a different conspiracy. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. A little bit more about. But th I, th I have a video on my channel of, of me playing Hans when he was 16 years old. It came out like a couple years ago. I remember this, this too. I remember game. this. So in chess, like you have uh, like titles. Yeah. Like Grandmaster is the highest one. Uh, International is the second highest one. And like to get those titles, you need to, you know, perform like at a certain level and like three different tournaments called norms 
makes sense. He also just sounds like a normal, like, uh, American kid. What happened? I had one other one when I was 12. I have never, ever in my life cheated in an over-the-board game. He sounds all fancy now. I don't know, maybe when you get GM, you like have to put on a bit of an accent. You gotta, you gotta speak a little fancy. Maybe some, <laughs> some social accent or something. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it. He says, I admit to cheating. It was in the past. I'm clean now. Drama should be over, right? Wrong. <laughs> chess it goes on. Yeah. Last few days have been tumultuous in the chess community. At this time, we've reached out to Hans to explain our decision to remove him from chess.com and our events. We shared our details with him concerning our decision, including information that contradicts his statements, a.k.a. you cheated more than you admitted to cheating, and we are mad at you for not admitting how much you cheated, and so we are now permabanning you from our website. Which begs the question, when he cheated originally, why didn't you leak it? Were you just protecting him because he was a kid? Why don't you just show us the information now? That would make a lot of things more clear, rather than everyone who's on the sidelines speculating. Makes mm -hmm. the drama a lot hotter, though. I'll admit that. All right? And then here is an interesting tidbit. This one's this one I think is is the it goes to the point. Did he cheat? Because that's the main question. Did he cheat? Why did Magnus withdraw? Why did uh, GMs accuse him of maybe cheating? Did he cheat? Listen to this. It's, it's not bad. No, was, he just he played quite poorly. Can I turn up the volume on this? Is the volume not okay? Yeah, I can turn the volume up. Sorry, I thought it was good, but I'll turn it up. Uh, I didn't draw. Relating makes the drama a lot hotter, though. I'll admit that. All right. And then here is an interesting tidbit. This one's this one I think is is the it goes to the point. Did he cheat? Because that's the main question. Did he cheat? Why did Magnus withdraw? Why did uh, mm -hmm. GMs accuse him of maybe cheating? Did he cheat? Listen to this. It's, it's not bad. No, was, he just he played quite poorly. So uh, I didn't do anything special. Hans, just where's went, the boys well, okay, from? I think I played quite well. <laughs> but uh, I was actually very fortunate uh, that this opening came on the board, and I looked at this today. And you you guessed this opening today. No, I don't guess it. You're born in San Francisco. Some miracle. I had checked this today, and it's like it's such such a ridiculous miracle that that I don't even remember why I checked it. I just uh, when when I saw. Um, now here he is saying that in the game that he beat Magnus Carlson again two weeks ago, in the game that he beat Magnus, he had miraculously decided to check the opening line. Because when you're really good at chess, you sometimes prepare mm -hmm. for certain opening lines, a.k.a. the first 20 moves of the games. I know everything that's going to happen and everything that you're going to do, and we're going to do the same thing. And then after that, we can no longer work from memory. We have to figure out the puzzle that is before us. He prepared for this one that Magnus was going to do. One key issue with that, Magnus has never, ever played that line in his life. He's never played the G3 Nimzo ever. Wait, whoa, well, wait a second. I mean, he's never played G3 and Hans is claiming that he, he Hans is claiming that he prepped it up to move 20 before. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. I don't It's called transmission. Right. I mean, I I I don't I don't need to talk about it. I don't need to talk about it again, but like I said, like it's plaus it's unlikely, but it is plausible um via transmission. There there're only two things. Like if if he really prepped it, he would not have been looking at Magnus's game. If if if, the, if that is legitimate, it would have been that he because he's been looking at Dubov's games, not because he's been looking at Magnus's games. Um, but anyway, let's keep going. He's cheating by the by, but he prepared for a line that Magnus has never done that that he happened to do that day and then beat him. It's just kind of weird. Now I saw the event; they had like metal detectors and shit. I don't think that 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 guy stuck anal beads in his ass to to <laughs> cheat him. I I don't think he did that. It'd be insane if he did. Honestly, can make a TV show about that. King's Gambit, who knows? <laughs> Here's the theory. Again, all speculative. All right? That I think is the most accurate. Okay? And this comes from some random ass commenter. And, you know, I'll trust it because I do trust random comments on Reddit. And that's how I make my investment strategies. So it's not uh, too much of a stretch for me. To WSV? Do Magnus suspected there was a mole, a leaker in his inner circle, someone very close to him. Not me. I, I'm his best friend, but we don't actually do prep together. So he prepped an obscure line he had never played before, and his suspicions were confirmed when Hans fell for the trap. Hans admitted in the post-game interview that it was a miracle that he prepped for that opening the morning prior to the game. Yeah, sure. Magnus did not bolt the tournament because he lost the game. He stormed out due to his feelings of a supreme betrayal. In time, we will find out who Judas was. Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 silver coins. Okay, chess fans are kind of nerds, all right? They're, it's like an off-breed of theater kids who have a little more vanity and think they're a little bit smarter. They're, come on, you got to give them some <laughs> slack there. Anyway, that's it. That's the T. And so now, 
seems like for the foreseeable future, anytime Magnus plays Hans, he's just going to resign, which makes tournament standings really weird and tournament mm -hmm. structures weird and everything's very awkward. All right. It's when it's like when you go to a friend's house and their parents start fighting, but you like, you still got to finish your plate. And it's going to be really fucking awkward every time you're there, but that's how it's going to be. And, and that's it. It's all speculative as it stands until chess.com releases how True. Hans cheated mm -hmm. and, and how it contradicts what he said or, or Magnus reveals what he thinks, but he probably won't do that because why would he do that? I mean, he's basically retired. He withdrew from being the world champion. He, he's not going to play in that match. He's just playing for funsies. So nothing, you know, onus isn't on him. Hans can't prove that he didn't cheat if he actually didn't cheat. And if he did mm -hmm. cheat, why would he prove that he did cheat? Might as well keep it a secret. So what's he going to do? All right, kind of feels like we're at a sand cell. Here's one option. All right, Magnus, Hans, play at the Ludwig $100,000 salty sweet money match. All right, and you both you both play with me, and 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 you can't cheat. And I, you know what? You both have to use anal beats. That way, you can't use your own. And I'll uh, well, no, that's just getting weird. Anyway, <laughs> that's my idea. Uh, what do you guys think? Thanks for watching. <laughs> that was a really good way. That was really really a funny way to end it uh, with the video. Yeah, I thought he was gonna say you're gonna have to play like naked or something, but no, that was that was pretty good. That was good. So that's pretty much the the gist of the drama that I have. You know, that I'm gonna cover today.